Banks and gets the ball. Back to Billy Walker. He moves up and gets back to Jackson. He takes it wide and gains the mystery zone. Down the board with Lane, checking Jackson around the net. Back to Walker, wide open. Shoots one on save by Holt. And cut. Cut. David Kelly is a master of, of mixing tones and, and taking a setting that you think you know, like a legal profession, a hospital, uh, a small town, and having such interesting characters and, and such interesting dilemmas and predicaments. I mean, I went through 71 scripts before I started to do this one. You know, it was over a year from finishing a film called Heaven's Burning before I found a script that had some form of originality in it. When I read the script, I thought immediately of Russell Crowe because Russell is able to express so much with so few words. The intensity with which he acts played into the intensity with which he played the game of hockey. And when, when, when I could get that on film, he didn't have to have grown up playing hockey his whole life. He just looked like a fierce competitor on skates with a stick. I just was so excited when I, when I found out he was attached and I read the script. I just. I couldn't wait to sort of go in and meet for it because I just think he's phenomenal. As mayor of Mystery Alaska, I'm going to extend a little invitation to the New York Rangers. We're looking at a level of honor which, you know, uh, gets uncovered. 13 seasons he's played in the Saturday game, and suddenly the New York Rangers are coming. He can't play in the game because he's been thrown off the team. The committee feels you can best help the team by, you know, coaching. You're the guy. They all look up to you. Scott, I don't coach. John, I'm asking you as mayor of the town. Will you coach? These are the best players they've ever seen. Their town, yeah, you know? And they've beaten anyone who's ever tried to play them. It could be a blowout. I mean, they're bringing a professional team in. So that's what's at stake. And I mean, if, if the Rangers come in and pummel us, Where's the pride of this town go? If hockey is it, we're nowhere. We're nowhere. John, excuse me, but this game is going to be played on a pond. Hey, Chuck. One second. Everybody here always says, on a pond, nobody beats us, right? Nobody. OK, well, you got a chance to prove it now. Finding out what's at stake for the town is a lot of the journey that my character goes on. At first, he thinks nothing. He thinks it's perfectly, they should be thrilled. The New York Rangers are coming. Where's bad, you know? But as it turns out, if the Rangers come in and beat them 30 to nothing, it'll pretty much crush the spirit of this town. I mean, they live for hockey, they live for their Saturday game. New York Rangers are professionals. Do things we've always had in mystery. Our dignity and our illusion. I suggest we cling to both. We call him the old bear. And that was now actually incorporated into the script. It's kind of interesting getting to sit down and talk to him specifically about events in his life and, you know, the negatives as well as the positives. But, you know, it's been, it's been very good for, for all of the, uh, the team players to have that kind of experience. His take on it is that it possibly may destroy an illusion. Are they better than the NHL? Well, no. In a lot of ways, this is a generic sports film, but the way people uh, react and respond to each other and the setting of the town, you know, it was fresh. You know, the dialogue was fresh. The, the human relationship stuff was fresh. Where's the dignity in not trying? I'll play those Rangers. I'm in. I'll play. I'll beat them. Yeah. Yeah.